Hey everybody, this is me again, I'm back. Uh, we're going to be talking today about the people's role in democracy. Because, like, to keep it real, I was honestly not going to do this video. But, when I got a comment on my last one, it made me feel good. So, shout out to the person who said that. I appreciate him, he said keep up the good work. Um, so I'm trying and for sure I appreciate that so the people's role in a democracy once upon a time we can talk about maybe in the Ottoman Empire whereupon Islam was the first of the religions to uh, emphasize education as a basis of democracy so they have this the oldest still existing university is a Muslim one um, and so the West likes to portray people from outside the West as savages and so on. But that's a load of crap. The savages are in the West who don't even care about their offspring, their kids. And then they look around and say, hey, look, there's someone darker than me. They must be not good. Uh, they are the dumbest, most hateful people. Because they've been uh, dulled by their leaders who want nothing from them except a uh, vote. So, you know, Justin Trudeau is trampling all over rights and freedoms in Canada, as if we ever had any. And um, his little, um, you know, LGBTQT Trudeau, the T in that stand for Trudeau, with his cross-dressing butt. Uh, you know he does, too. I guarantee you ask one of his, you know, ex-wives, they'll say he was doing that. But, yo... My point is this, once upon a time we ratified decisions, we were able to be consulted before they start a war that's not in our interest, such as in Ukraine, such as continuing the wars everywhere. Uh, they love the continual warfare because that's profitable and they, they don't have to send their kids to go die. In fact, in the United States, they're allowing migrants who pass the physical test to go serve in the U.S. Army. Um, I'm no historian, but isn't that how the Mongolia? Wait, no, not the Mongolians. Who was that? Uh, Romans? Romans, Romans. The Romans Empire got so diverse and good that there were people being fed uh, grapes while they're having orgies in Rome. And then they had troops of every sort all across the world spread out to go conquer and conquest and do all this uh, white people stuff. Now, they've killed democracy already, but we could bring it back. We're the ones who have the power. If you guys don't pay your taxes, they're going to not have very much uh, stuff to send to those uh, bomb-dropping fanatics. But at the time where, you know, if you don't like genocide, you're considered uh, anti-something then I think it's about now that we should probably reclaim what is ours, our right to self-determination, which is guaranteed under the UN, uh, you know, the UN Charter of Rights and Freedoms and stuff. They give us explicitly every human being has a right to self-determination, which we're being deprived of. Uh, technology is being made to serve the elite, at the expense of the people who make it. And uh, they're outsourcing the production of it. Ever since NAFTA. Which was ratified like before I was born. They ruined my economic future. So when we find in our, uh, ourselves in a position like this. Um, I think it's pretty difficult to say what lies ahead. Because on one side there's a powerful punks who are very scared of anything other than, you know, the wars they start themselves. And then on the other side, you got people like me who've never had a thing to live for and never will. So, you know, there's got to be some real, real meaningful uh, dialogue, but they don't understand English, my friends. They understand the language that comes out of a barrel. They understand what come out of a rifled barrel. That's all they'll ever understand. The rulers, uh, they don't care too much for any words, you know. The problem is, like, 
they could have had a lot of the problems they start solved if they had faith enough that people in the lower classes like me are not just stupid animals who walk around. But I'll have you know something. The elite call us flyovers. When they fly over our city to get somewhere else in their private jets, they refer to us as the fly the, the people they fly over. Uh, so, you know, they've dehumanized us to the point where they deserve something. And it's not a, you know, Nobel Peace Prize. They might as well give a Nobel Peace Prize because the guy Nobel invented dynamite. So the Peace Prize is useless crap. I would throw it on the ground and spit on it. Our role is to uh, reclaim what is ours for the future of everybody. Because until everybody's free, nobody's fucking free, man. So it hurts me to see uh, my people being starved while I'm starved as well. But I don't care too much about myself because let's just say in my life I've been made to feel like I was the problem, you know. By people who should have cared. And still, um, when I was like five or six, I realized I was a little bit smarter than the people who are supposed to care who hate me. For, for being me. Like, I'll apologize for what I did in my life, but not for who I am. And nobody should. Psychology seems to be, to me, as someone who has a bachelor's degree in it, uh, it's called original sin repackaged with some fancy words. So even, you know, when I talk to a counselor or a psychologist... Uh, It's basically original sin. Why don't you accomplish something? Well, I don't know. Perhaps uh, the fact that they devalued the dollar from $1 in 1960 to 3 or 4 cents by now. uh, Perhaps that has a little bit more influence than I ever could. And so they're repackaging original sin so that uh, the master-slave dialectic, as Hegel referred to it... um, just reinforces uh, the, the superiority of the person who's on top and the inferiority of that person who's asking for help. So that's why I don't never ask anybody for help. Uh, because all it serves to do is degrade me further. Because their answer is not going to be, yes, let me help you. So don't wonder why people um, act out prematurely maybe they should have thought like me about who's really the problem um but i'm not gonna be a jesus type guy forever and withhold punches man because life this is violent what they're doing to me destroying my life day by day that's called violence upholding a status quo that kills people of fentanyl overdoses because we can't be bothered to care about our own population That's called violence. So you're upholding their status quo of violence as you oppose violence as a means to solve the problem. Alright everybody, that should be it for this video. I hope uh, hope I offered some useful perspectives. We'll talk to you guys next time and take care. I really appreciate you. Peace.